Yeah. What did y'all do? Put food color in it or something? No. <laughs> what do you want to do that? Do you want to be inconvenient? It's like no matter how skinny you are, no matter how big you are, you still can represent Big Girl, Big Girl. What is up? Good morning, you guys. How are you doing? Welcome to a new vlog. It is currently 7.59 a.m. in the morning. So again, good morning. Um, I'm not sure if some of y'all remember the a previous vlog. Um, I showed you all that the check engine light was on in our truck. And the, the code that was on, that came up was P1450, which is actually pretty common with the Ford trucks. A lot of people were saying, that most likely is something to do with like the gas uh, tank and, and the cap not being on tight enough, which um, I've actually this tank here, it doesn't come with the gas cap. It's just like, there's a, it's just, you close the door and that's it. Um, but I did watch a YouTube video a long time ago and I saw where a guy, he just took some type of uh, funnel and stuck it in there and wiggled it a few times and then that made the light turn off. But, um, which, all of that could be cool, but just to be safe, I decided to just go ahead and bring it in. Um, I wanted to bring it in super early. They open at eight, which is eight o'clock right now. So um, I'm going to get ready to go in now and do that. And then also um, they offer complimentary drop off where they'll take me back home. So I'll be getting someone to drop me off and take me back home as well. So that's what we're getting ready to do now. All right, so looks like I gotta wait for 30 minutes. Okay, so first and foremost, I got a 30 minute wait until uh, someone can pick me up and then drop me off. And um, they gonna have to keep it until Monday because the tech that, I guess the tech that Um, hmm. What do you want to do there? Do you want to be inconvenient until then? Hmm. So you thinking maybe I should just keep the truck and then just bring it back Monday morning? Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's that makes more sense anyways. Uh, what would I do without you? Why leave my truck here? <laughs> All right, I'm going to tell them. Are they going to even look at it today? Yeah, no, because he said that the, it's like they have some techs to look at it, but he said the tech that specializes in, like, the best one that will be able to really, like, be able to do a thorough check won't be here till Monday. Right, so can they yeah. go ahead and set you up an appointment on Monday and you'll be there? Okay, I'm going to just see. All right. All right, here we go again. Wasting my time. Ugh, so I think what happens is it's a huge amount of miscommunication that is going on because I called before I came in today and uh, the lady was like, she just, she was just like, yeah, for sure we're going to be able to get somebody to look at it tomorrow. But when I get here, Eric, who's the manager, which is probably all who I should deal with from now on anyways, he said that, yeah, there are going to be two techs here. But the best one, they'll be able to do a thorough check to make sure ain't no crazy shit going on with the truck won't be here till Monday. So I'm just going to get here before they open on Monday, <laughs> which is interesting because this place didn't open to eight, but it was fully packed. So I'm going to have to get here like, what, two hours before? I'm sure if I would have left it here, maybe it would have got seen a little faster than me maybe coming, you know, driving back up here Monday. But I'm just going to have to drive back up here Monday. Because Carla, she do not want to be inconvenienced this entire weekend. So it is what it is. I could get frustrated. I could be like, y'all told me I could come in today and somebody was going to look at it for sure. <sighs> but why? This video 
video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is basically a huge online community where you can learn pretty much any skill you can think of. We get a lot of questions from how to edit videos, how to start an LLC, how to graphic design, and there are so many classes that can teach you everything you need to know. So no matter what your skill level is, there is something for everyone. A class I really enjoyed was going freelance, building and branding your own success, taught by Justin Gignac. Justin mentions the fact that we live in a freelance world more than ever and teaches the essentials on how to seek out the work you want and draw back work to you as a full-time entrepreneur. Once you master some of the things he's mentioned and perhaps take other classes and bet on yourself, it can elevate your business and if you have the desire, leave or take a break from those nine to fives like we did. The first 1,000 people to use our link, which is in the description, or even use our discount code, Nick Carla, will receive one month free trial of Skillshare. Again, business classes, finance classes, self-improvement classes, pretty much anything. And now more than ever, knowledge is power. So if you're ready to start learning that skill you've always wanted to, click the link, sign up, and get started today. What is up, you guys? I am finally back home with the beautiful Carla Rochelle. Yes. Oh, 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 baby, we gotta, we gotta show them the shirt now. We gotta show them the shirt now. All right. Yeah, this is my shirt that I made. Hold on, let me see if I can get the best light. Like. Yes, <laughs> she made that yesterday. It didn't even take her that long. Um. Man, did you have fun making it? This is my workout shirt that I made, y'all. Yesterday, me and Nick was walking, and I was like, well, we got ready to work out. And these pants right here, every time I get ready to put them on, I'm like, I don't have a black shirt. So I was like, I need to make me a black shirt. So I started making it like at eight, after eight last mm -hmm. night. Yeah, and I was probably done by 11, 30-ish. And this, this is creating the pattern and everything for it so yes. so really good job okay y'all so what we're getting ready to do is we are getting ready to go on our walk y'all we've been trying to just go on morning walks not only get some sun but to prepare our bodies for the gym because Carly getting ready to throw us back in that gym. Um, and then once we get through with our morning walk, we are going to try to make it to the farmer's market since we're up early enough and moving around and uh, see what they got. Hopefully they got some berries or something like that there. But um, And then some more of that bacon. Oof. Oof. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we're going to go on our morning walk. We'll see y'all at the farmer's market. Right, y'all so we have made it to the farmer's market as y'all can tell it is very packed i guess uh early in the morning is just the time to come mm -hmm. um we noticed that they have a lot of strawberries out that's what we've been waiting on so look they got some right there you got performers out here y'all can see just the whole situation <laughs> all right so babe what are you thinking you want to uh uh and that, we don't even need a lot, a lot of strawberries. We don't. But it's this stand down. I don't know what it was about they strawberries, but they just look red as hell. Okay, what is this? Oh, popsicles. They doing popsicles. That's what's up. They go to meat, man. Oh, I was wondering where he yeah, was. Yeah, this is where we at. We had to come get some more meat, y'all. Yeah, we got, this is what I was looking for. I'm sorry, Carla, what did you just say now? He has beef liver and I may get me some. That, so remember, this say um, grass-fed and finished beef. Now this say grass-fed and grain-finished. So you have to pay attention to this. Hey, we back, how you doing? Thank you, boy. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. Thank you. Thank nice doing business you. with you. You know how you can always tell a grass fan? See how yellow that fat is? Oh, okay. If it's got grain, it'll be white. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, my bad. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My out. bad now. <laughs> Got about a linebacker walking through. Better watch out now. I know. She be walking all big and stuff. <laughs> I be telling her to walk small. <laughs> okay. She so. walks smaller than she used to walk, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I think ever since I played football, it really made me uh, start walking big. Is it right here up there for the strawberries? It was them. I don't know what it is about they berries. If they put food coloring in it or what, but they look just redder than they everybody else. They smell good, too. Oh, no, I'm fasting today, but uh, <laughs> but I definitely going to buy some. They smell so good. You make sure it ain't my glasses, okay? <laughs> what, what did y'all do? Put food coloring in it or something? <laughs> <laughs> in Those look good. You want to do these? Okay. Make sure now. You can mix and match berries however you want it. Okay, yes, I want him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a good oh, day. Look, they got all natural cheese, but we ain't gonna worry about cheese right now. Right. No chemicals, no fillers, none of that. Y'all, these berries smell so good. Wow, it's almost unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Man. All right, I think we done for okay. today. <laughs> I think they done got enough out of our little wallet. We are gonna go on head on out. <laughs> yeah. But, very happy with my purchases. I really wish y'all could just smell. I don't think I remember smelling smell. berries like this. Mm -hmm. they smelling smell this so good. good. Wow. It's almost like they, I felt like a cartoon character. You know how the little cartoon character be floating in the air? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Man. <laughs> All right, so that was pretty dope. Uh, Carla said she really enjoyed herself. Yes. And uh, I was just telling Carla, I was like, I, I didn't, uh, oh, I don't know, we can go this way too. Thought this was a one way. No, you know? I think just for these cars, how to drive okay. around, I think. But uh, I was just telling her, I don't know how I would have tested that berry not being able to rinse it off. <laughs> and she was saying that her, uh, you said your daddy used to do what now? Yeah. I said back in the day, y'all, my dad would pick up grapes from the store. I don't forget. My mama used to always tell him, stop eating them grapes. We'll be in the grocery store. My dad would be getting the grapes, wiping them on his shirt, eating them. And I said, that was back in the day. Now I said, nowadays, I definitely wouldn't do that. But you know, you know they spray the food with too much shit nowadays. Yeah. But you know, my grandma, now that, now that you mentioned it, I can remember uh -huh. several occasions, my grandma walking through the grocery store, eating a plum or eating an apple or yeah. something. But um, they used to do that back in the day. But but it's like ever since I've been seeing videos of them taking like uh, is it microscopes and like zooming in on strawberries and finding little invisible bugs and shit like that, I just can't even think about. It. It's like matter of fact, them berries there. Are we gonna soak it in like yeah, and some vinegar or apple cider vinegar? Okay, we're gonna soak in apple cider vinegar. And I told Carla we're gonna do something that has to do with uh, strawberries tomorrow. She was saying maybe bring back the uh, French toast uh, uh, wraps. Either that or we can get that bread from Aldi's or um, Publix. Yeah, yeah, she don't want to do that. We could though. She don't, oh, with she that don't bacon. Wanna, she don't want to do that, child. No, we could. You want to run all the... Well, first and foremost, we got to run to the post office. Shout out to True Blue for sending us our incense. Yeah. So we got to go to the post office and get that. Um, and then afterwards, I guess we can get that uh, that cinnamon bread from Publix. So we can do the uh, French toast and that cottage bacon. That's but what I'm was. curious, what was that thought when I said it? What was that thought you was having when I said you didn't want to do that? No, I, no. I was like, do we want to do it? But I'm like, because me and Carl, we've been trying to limit pro as many processed foods as possible. But I'm That's like, true. the wraps are processed. So it's like, it is what it is. Um, I, and speaking of that, yeah, I told Nick, I don't know where we're going on this health journey. 
But like I always say, y'all, you have to do the best that you can do for where you are right now. I told Nick, who knows where we're going to be in the future? We may not be eating processed food. We may not. You know, it's like you just don't know. So you do what you need to do right now to help you get to where you're trying to go. Yeah. Like even though we some bigger, big girls, we still want to you know, look our best, feel our best. So we are still doing things to try to get us to a healthier version of us. You know, me and Carla, we had a very interesting conversation about the big gear, big gear uh, slogan, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Because you had some skinny girls like, I feel like I'm a big gear, big gear. Can you uh, make something like a skinny gear, skinny gear? It's like, And what I was telling Carla is I really want people to maybe get a chance to read the description of what Big Gear, Big Gear means. Like, Big Gear, Big Gear doesn't mean that you're fat. Yeah. What it means, it's almost like, and I told Carla, I was like, it's almost like how alcoholics, like when they go to Alcoholic Anonymous, no matter how many years they've been sober, you notice they always say, my name is blah, 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 and I'm an alcoholic. They say it because it's remembering that unhealthy relationship that they have with alcohol. Yeah. And it's like, it's the same with Big Gear, Big Gear. It's like, even though no matter how small or fit or skinny me and Carla get, we always represent Big Gear, Big Gear because it's a reminder that you can easily go down a spiral and be fat or or overweight or, or go back to the unhealthy relationship. Yeah. Or you may be currently in the phase where you have an unhealthy relationship with food. It's just really an acknowledgement that us ladies we have to watch our relationship with food and constantly manage it because we have to eat to live and it's it's easy to fall down that slippery slope of unhealthy habits yeah so that's really what it is like no matter how skinny you are no matter how big you are you still can represent big girl big girl because that's what it is like you can be skinny and have a very unhealthy relationship with food I think it's actually probably worse for skinny people because they don't have nothing to motivate them maybe necessarily to push back until they have health problems, some of them. Mm-hmm. I ain't going to say all of them, but some of them, you know, yeah. until they get high blood pressure, high cholesterol, heart problems, shit like that. Yeah. You know? So That's true. That was the conversation we were having. but um, anyway. Yeah, it just means that you're a foodie. You know, we love food. That's yeah. pretty much it. Yeah. And we're trying to do the best that we can to get yeah. to where we're trying to go. And that was one more thing I was going to say, based I was going to piggyback off of what you were saying uh-huh. about, like, just doing what you can and not trying to rush the process. Yeah. Would we love to be at a point where it's like it'd be times where we may show what we eat in the video and they'd be like, oh, no, nah, let it go. No, mm-mm, don't do that. And it's like it would be great if we could just be perfect and just eat everything that we should eat and everything pe- people say we shouldn't eat but we can't rush our process because you can overwhelm yourself and then go down the spiral and start eating just all bad you know that's true and we just speaking from experience so and this message has been approved by the Rochelles (laughs) yes bacon and then for dinner we're gonna do the steak with the um with some of these green beans all right that was pretty fast carla was saying who got their vitamin d that's what i've been loving about us getting in these little walks it's like like i told y'all before the red the hair regimen says to try to get sun on your head every day for 10 minutes i've been getting a lot of sun on my head since we've been walking yeah man that beauty.
did get our incense. Um, shout out to Royal Swag, True Blue, Royal Swag, Rich Wear. She actually has sent us some, uh, here's her Instagram information. She actually has sent us some free samples um, a while back and Carla just really liked them. So we actually ended up purchasing some more. And that's what we were saying that, you know, sometimes if somebody sent us a free sample of their products and we like them, we'll become like, one of their customers. Yeah. Because we do believe in the energy exchange. Um, you know what I'm saying? That's why some people may notice a lot of people love to send us gifts or bless us. It's because it's an energy exchange. It's We do so many things for people that has nothing to do with material. It may inspire them. It may help them think different. It may help them get out of a situation. And because of that, people like to thank us in many different ways, whether it's through monetary, material things, sending us a message, sending us a free product in the mail, whatever it is, um, it's all energy. Everything is energy and yep. it's an energy exchange. All right, y'all, I wanted to show you something I have ordered in the mail. It's called Ear Wax MD. I actually wanted to try this because first and foremost, I clean, I usually like to stick, um, Q-tips in my ears and I know that that's not the best for you because ultimately what they say you're doing is pushing wax down in your ear and some people they push it down there so much and so long especially people who are like their ears are prone to like a lot of wax creating a lot of wax and then you see big clumps just stuck in their ear or make them part of hearing because they get too close to their eardrums things like that so I saw this thing on Amazon and I was like I think I want to go ahead and try to uh uh, clean our ears um, this way. I've never done this. I've always, well, when I was younger, I used to use peroxide, just peroxide, not diluted, which probably should have been diluted. Yeah, that's what they say nowadays. But, but I used to do that too. Yeah, that's just what they did to me as a kid. And I kept doing it. Mm. Um, but I have not been doing this lately. I've been doing Q-tips, even though I know I shouldn't have been. Um, so I'm going to try this out to see how effective it is later. But as of for now, I think I'm going to get ready to play my uh, tennis uh, video game. The game that Bradley told me about, y'all. <laughs> I've been having so much freaking fun. Like my arm is freaking hurting uh, from playing it so much on the Switch. Hold up, baby, you getting a little too wild now. I'm gonna go ahead and get on out your way. You, you got it, you got it, baby, you got it. Man, y'all, like I said, this game fun as hell. I actually think that they let, let's see. I actually think that they let like friends play. I don't know if any of y'all who watching me right now get into this type of shit, uh, like playing like tennis or any sports on Nintendo Switch Sports. But if y'all do, comment below and we can try to join each other and play against each other. If y'all want to see how good I am in real life, you know what I'm saying? If you want to get beat a couple times, then definitely um, let me know in the comment section and I'll create a room. Cause you can create rooms on here. I'll create a room and then y'all can join the room and we can play. That would be fun. That would be pretty dope. So, and I think they have it where you can talk like to each other. So that'd be dope too. I've never really got into that type of shit. I used to just like playing games by myself, but, um, yeah, if any of y'all into that, let me know. Anyways, I'm going to get back to playing, beating a few more people right now. I'm playing people online, but, um, yeah, it's fun. <laughs>